Hello, and welcome to Global Data Themes Instant Insights. At Global Data, we define a theme as something that keeps a CEO awake at night, as businesses that invest in important themes will succeed, and those that don't will fail. Hello, and welcome back to Instant Insights. I'm Sarah Coop, and today I'll be talking to thematic analyst Shabnam Pavez in Thematic Intelligence as part of our Tech in 2030 series. This series is based on our new Tech in 2030 report from Thematic Intelligence, which you can find on the Global Data Report Store or click the link in our bio. All of our analysts will be answering questions about the future of their industry and what it will look like in 2030. Today, Shabnam will be talking about the future of retail. Hi, Shabnam. How are you doing? Great. Thank you for inviting me here. No worries at all. So let's jump into some questions. What is bricks and mortar retail and why does it matter? So bricks and mortar retail are first the physical space that retailers offer. This includes shopping centres and the high street. As the pandemic has bolstered online penetration, companies have been making their best efforts to increase footfall in bricks and mortar retail. The future of bricks and mortar is said to be very different from what it is today. Interesting, interesting. So the pandemic has kind of like shifted that um, mm-hmm. from footfall in store. Um, so what should we expect to see in 2030? So retailers will push enhancing the in-store consumer experience to drive sales. By enhancing the consumer experience using technology like magic mirrors to try clothing on in store, it will be the norm. Alongside last mile deliveries being carried out by delivery robots. But what's particularly interesting about the future of retail is that there'll be less of a focus on shopping. Instead, the emphasis is going to be primarily on leisure and entertainment. And by that, I mean shopping centres in 2030 will operate as entertainment hubs, where people will be going to have fun. Uh, From flagship stores acting as showrooms to malls adopting theme parks, aquariums, theatres and so much more. Interesting. So this is a quite a traditional industry, but it's having kind of technological influences enabling these showrooms like um, uh, magic mirrors and things like that. Do you think this traditional industry will ever be fully digitalized? Yes and no. The industry will be impacted heavily by technology. The future of retail will very much focus on the future consumer. And today's younger generations will be the target consumers of 2030 and much of them are already active social media users. Social media has become more pertinent in the last few years, and in 2030, the influence of influencers will be so much stronger. The main consumers of 2030 are those who have grown up with access to social media and will take cues on what to buy directly from social media. This will definitely have an indirect effect on sales. However, how these sales are obtained may be installed by e-commerce or even social commerce, which is buying goods through social media. Interesting. So it'll be a kind of increase in those channels that people can shop by. Well, thank you very much, Shabnam, for those instant insights. Thanks for listening. And from us at Thematic Intelligence, see you next time.